Welcome back on this Monday. Great to have you along as we get going on this work week. Restaurants looking for locally grown fresh produce during the winter months <laughs> must turn to a different type of farm. Yeah, the type of farm that features a complete growing system in a climate controlled box. Shane Wells joins us from a farm using that model in Shoreview. You would visualize or you see in the books, but this is a modern day farm and we're very excited to step inside the box the Frisk for a Boxen box, if you will. We have Chris Glasso with us, one of the owners, founders of this unique urban farm. Can you take us inside and then kind of explain what this is and how it works? Sure. Uh, you mentioned this is the wow moment for people. It's like part lab, part experiment, part farm, all sorts of stuff going on in here. So tell us how this got started. Well, in uh, 2018, I was reading an article in Bloomberg Business Week about container farming. And my undergrad degree is from St. Olaf College in Alternative Energies. Um, I studied how we could get off fossil fuels back in 1973 uh, with the idea <laughs> that we could use solar, wind, whatever. So I've always been interested in alternatives. And I saw this and thought, wow, that would be kind of fun. Um, so I started researching it some more. Um, you know, we made the decision to we would sell my financial planning practice, buy this, and start a whole new business. I'm sure that wasn't an easy decision and a lot of discussion. And once you kind of went with it, how long did it take before you were actually in operation? Well, we signed the contract in May of 2019. It got delivered January 10th of 2020. We had electricity and water uh, the middle of February of 2020. And we had our first harvestable crop available the day Governor Walsh shut all the restaurants down, which and was going to be our prime target. That's what I was just going to allude to. I mean, right now you start, you restaurants and retail restaurants are a right. lot of the business that you do. Yeah. What are you growing here? How do you decide what to grow? Um, we decide what to grow kind of based on what the restaurants want. Sure. And then based on that, then we sell to the retail customers. So okay. uh, arugula is probably our biggest crop. Um, followed by chard and kale and then lettuces. These were planted on Monday. And what is that? That's arugula. Okay. These will be transplanted this coming Monday and these up here will be transplanted the following Monday. And then when they get transplanted over here on the wall, how long do they live here before they're in restaurants or in for, stores? For arugula, they they're in the wall for three weeks. These will be harvested on Monday. And obviously you can operate year round. I mean, it's 65 degrees in here, 24 seven. 65 degrees, 24 seven, minus 30 outside, it's 65 degrees in here. Then it's taken Frisco for boxing, fresh from the box. Fresh from the box. And given to restaurants, retail stores. Yeah. Fascinating. Well, I appreciate the tour and uh, giving us a little bit of your knowledge and insight into this you know, urban farming venture right on the shores of Shoreview. <laughs> I like when you messaged and said, meet, meet you at the farm. So here we are at the farm. Thank you, Chris. We appreciate it. For more information, you can check out friskfraboxen.com. Back to you. The, the wall of lettuce. There. That's cool. How about that? And it makes a lot of sense. Sure. You can't just, you know, sit out six months no <laughs> like us <a> normal backyard <laughs> veggies do right right